everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about light everything about light let us start the session today first let us discuss about types of objects what are objects think of it you can see objects that emit light on their own you can see objects that do not emit light on their own a great example is sun and moon you can see sun great big ball of fire light but what about moon it can't emit its own light so it reflects the light that it reaches from the sun we are going to talk about these terms in the progress of this video so now you be careful and know what are the luminous and the non luminous objects moving further first question that arises to your minds is light what is light so now what is light it's just a form of energy there are many forms of energy in this universe nuclear energy magnetic energy chemical energy thermal energy potential energy kinetic energy electrical energy and we are talking about light energy in many of the energies in this world we are just talking about light energy now what does this light energy do it helps us to see the beautiful world around us the colorful world around us that is the use of light and light is just one of the form of energy now from where does the light come from light comes from two sources that is natural sources artificial sources okay natural sources means uh, the light emitted by natural uh, things like natural objects like sun you know we all know sun emits its own light now it doesn't take uh, light from anywhere it emits its own light it has that capability to do that and also lightning when it is raining thundering lightning you'll see this uh, lightning in the sky and also what we see in the picture here is a firefly it emits its own light a few natural organisms a few living organisms like firefly emit their own light this is called bioluminescence remember bioluminescence only from light emitted by living organisms and now we'll talk about artificial sources why artificial because we are humans we are greedy and uh, we are uh, not feeling satisfied with just the light from nature we made artificial sources of light such as a candle you can see and also a light bulb those are the artificial sources and now we saw that light uh, is emitted okay if we take natural sources sun sun is somewhere millions of kilometers away from the earth but how are we seeing light from the sun because light travels from place to place then how does light travel light always travels in a straight line you need to remember that light always travels in a straight line straight forward always straight suppose uh, to see this you can perform an activity as shown in the picture you can take cardboards and put a hole in each of them three cardboards or uh, four five any of uh, any number of cardboards and place them properly in an order such that every hole is like uh, every hole is parallel to other and put a source of light here you can see a candle put that candle over there and you stand or you see from the last hole we named the cardboards as a b and c we put all the holes in a straight line all are in a straight line we stood at uh, uh, we stood behind the cardboard c and we saw that light from the candle okay now what i thought is just i'll uh, push or just i'll change the position of the cardboard c what happens you see 
we will not see we are missing where is the light source missing because the light always travels in a straight line you cannot see here as the holes or the cardboards are not arranged in a proper straight line you get the point light always travels in a straight line and this this phenomena of light traveling in a straight line is called rectilinear propagation of light remember rectilinear propagation of light we'll move forward from this okay i told you light travels in a straight line and light also travels in the form of rays light rays why we call it a ray because light uh, light ray has a starting point or only one end point why as if it has no end points then from where did the light start there has to be a source of light now so that is the reason if the source of light is a candle the candle is the starting point or the end point we can say for the light rays emitted that is the reason we call them as rays and if there are a group of light rays a group of light rays then we'll put some name to them why to call them always a group of light rays with four words no? just we call them beam a beam of light so here there are different types of beams as you can see in the picture here parallel beam we know that parallel lines never intersect and same with the parallel beam a parallel beam is a beam which contains parallel rays of light they never meet each other usually we consider the light from the sun to be a parallel beam and uh, all the rays of light will be parallel to each other next comes is the divergent beam the divergent beam here in the divergent beam all the light rays or the beam of light emerges from a point here you can see from this from this point all the light rays started coming out but will they meet anywhere no they won't meet anywhere now let us talk about something quite opposite to this divergent beam a convergent beam so if we will see here all the light rays are coming and meeting at a point the only difference is they are starting from a point and never meet they are meeting at a point and they start from different places did you get it it's a bit confusing but if you understand it that will be very a piece of cake for you all to get it they all meet here they all start here that's it there is no much difference in that they will start here they will meet here now next now how can we see okay we know that light comes we uh, light comes from different sources we know different sources we know like how light travels but how do we see this is due to the phenomenon called reflection as you can see in the picture we took the sun as the source of light here and suppose you are doing your homework and a uh, doubt comes are how can i see this homework how can i see how can you see just because of the light the source of light emits light na that light comes and hits the surface or the hits your homework book after hitting the homework book it bounces off it where it bounces again through the air only it bounces off and reaches your eye so that you can see the homework book and solve the problems or questions given by your teacher this is how we see we see objects because the object reflect light into our eyes from the source see example a great natural example is moon we know that moon does not emit its own light the light from the sun hits the moon and that moon what it does na it reflects the light or it bounces the light off its surface onto the earth into our eyes and we can see the moon but we feel that the moon is emitting its own light wow moon 
no 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 it's just reflection 